morning everyone good morning good morning good morning sorry if i seem a little down the weather is changing y'all and i'm just stuffy and everything i'm doing a guide to makeup for beginners women of color particularly i mean if you're not a woman of color you can follow this but these numbers and shades and everything are geared towards women of color i'm gonna do makeup teach me how to do this what do i need to do for this what do i need for this what kind of make makeup do you do how much makeup do you spend money do you spend on makeup da, 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 da. i'm not a makeup guru nowhere near one i had to make this video to show you guys what essentials you need to start makeup and i decided to make this an affordable drugstore video when i say drugstore i mean a store that's not specifically all the way geared towards makeup Ulta is a beauty store, not a makeup store. So there is a high end side and there is a drugstore side. There. So to start off, the first thing that you need when doing your makeup is a primer. You do not need YSL primer. You don't need Coach primer. You don't need Chanel primer. You don't need Bobbi Brown primer. All of that stuff is amazing. Primer is a substance, a product that blurs your skin. It I don't want to say clog your pores, but it's a barrier between the makeup and your pores and your skin is literally what it's called. It's a primer. Like, you know, you put a primer on your wall before you paint. Same thing. You put this on your face, bare face. You put the makeup on top of it and it keeps the makeup from. Um, To me, I'm not going to say all primers work the same, but I'm not going to say that there are terrible primers. Some primers work better with different foundations. The only primer that I've been using since I started makeup maybe three years ago is the e.l.f. primer. Partially because it's cheap. It had the mineral infused one because it sound good. Um, but I have dry skin. So now I use the hydrate one. This is what the bottle looks like. This product is about $6. Next thing is the big thing, which is foundation. Foundation is just what it's called. Foundation It's the foundation, the base to your makeup. You put this on top of your primer and everything else tacks on top of that um honestly my top my number one the maybelline fit me foundation um i have this pinky looking one because it's for um the dewy coverage it's medium to full coverage that means you can build it up you can put on as much as you want like my color is 355 coconut i wish this exact foundation they could just put a pump in here and i can easily pump pump a little bit on my hand boom 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 and go on by my day now one foundation that I just started using that I'm already obsessed and in love with that has a pump is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. It's amazing and it has a pump. This foundation is maybe about $8. Um, a lot of the Ulta stores do not have the darker shades in the store so you have to order it online which is what I did. I, I have the foundation on. It's total coverage. And these are the drop foundations. This is exactly what it looks like on this box. Next step on the guide would be concealer. Concealer is a really easy one for me because I've been using the same concealers for years and probably won't ever change. The top, the top, matter of fact, I don't know if I can put these on. The two tops, I would do that. The LA Girl Pro Concealer and the Maybelline Fit Me. The NYX HD Concealer. It's also a pretty good one. The only thing that I recently stopped liking about it is my shade. But it's not this. It's me. <laughs> my body keeps changing colors. So when I first bought this shade, it was a highlight shade. Now that I have the shade, it's a foundation shade. Move right along to a face powder. And when I say this, I mean pressed powder only. It's only one. It's only one. Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder. I'm still in the color 355 Coconut. Come on now. Don't play with me. It also comes with a mirror and a little spongy thing. My eyelashes are in there, sorry. Other powders, loose setting powders, the air spawn powder. This is the translucent extra coverage powder compared to the Laura Mercier powder. Definitely wouldn't say it's the same thing. Definitely a huge difference, but not a difference in don't buy this. If that makes sense. It's a very good powder. Me being a dark skinned girl though. And I have like this golden neutralish kind of undertone. I use a colored powder. Which brings me to my next one. Which is the terracotta powder in Makeup Revolution. This powder is amazing. To the rest of the face. Let's go with bronzer. 
bronzer is not a necessity when makeup comes along because a lot of people contour their face so bronzer is not mandatory but i literally just started wearing bronzer because contouring is kind of a lot of work sometimes but um i use this pro bronzer from my local beauty supply store it's from absolute new york next face we're gonna go in with since we're on bronzer we're gonna go with contour Con is cream contour and powder contour so there's two different things cream contour is kind of like this which is one of the concealers from makeup revolution it's just a dark shade so contour should always be a shade or two darker than your skin complexion contouring is pretty much um chiseling and carving and giving your face some type of structure so once you put on um foundation and stuff your face becomes this one solid one dimensional base so you have to contour it it gives your your face a shadow and it gives dimension back to your face like radiance true complexion contour palette to do so i use the shades medium to dark honestly don't use them both together because i really don't feel because i mean my cheekbones and stuff see that how it look like it's i don't have no contour on y'all you see how that I don't, mm -mm, I don't that's just my face <laughs> it's maybe six seven dollars and this of course is seven dollars as well blush i don't use blush y'all i just started i actually tried blush like twice uh, two top blushes that i have i have this makeup revolution baked blush in the color make love instead oh i didn't even know that was the color child but this is what it looks like it fell apart y'all so don't 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 judge me don't and then i have this milani in 09 red vino all the stuff is scratched off but this is what oh this is what it looked like moving on to everyone's probably favorite thing highlight got five options over here for y'all not five options my favorite drugstore is probably going to be this Master Chrome by Maybelline. It is amazing. This is the color, I think, Molten Gold. I just broke it. Oh my gosh. This stuff is amazing. This is what it looks like. Look at that. Color Pop. The color Flexitarian. I think it was about $6. What I love so much about this is how it's bouncy. But this stuff feels amazing this is what it looks like wet and wild um highlighting powders i love it the mega glow they're amazing this is the color crown of my canopy i got this one from ulta though because they had a sale this was only two dollars and fifty cents this is what it looks like i said online purchases bh cosmetics is one of the places color pop is too but now they sell it like in the store i mean they sell some bh cosmetics as well but bh cosmetics is pretty much in like on the website on the website and they have sales y'all and specials all the freaking time bh cosmetics is amazing with their highlighters this wild and radiant highlighting palette is actually a baked illuminating and bronzing palette but i use it for highlighting i have it on right now shade and i'm gonna put it up there I wouldn't say this is my favorite highlighter, but it's an amazing strobing stick. A strobing stick is pretty much a highlighter in cream stick form, kind of like the uh, the, the uh, foundation stick that I showed you guys. So, this is in the color 100 Light Iridescent. Hold on. And it's a master chrome strobing stick. So, it's with Maybelline New York. And this is what it looks like now. To put it on my hand, I'm gonna have to like rub it a little bit to warm it up. Well, actually I did. So that's the color. Brows. Eyebrows are a very important thing when it comes to makeup. Don't look at mine too closely because they're jacked up. There are two different things. There's pencil forms and there's pomade forms. Pomade is a jar. First found this stuff, I found it at my local Dollar Tree. Which means what? one dollar when we come to pencils there are about two or three of them my original was this <laughs> this is the wet and wild um 
dang it the words are rubbed off there's this new thing that i just started using which is the makeup revolution eyebrow pencil expensive than these but it's not high it's like seven dollars it's the maybelline brow precise micro crayon this thing works miracles the thing that i like most about it this one y'all is done so you can't see but it's precise literally what it's called is exactly what it is so you bring it out and you literally rake it across and i love it because it's um because of how small and precise it is you can make these small strokes which makes it look so much more natural and realistic than like this big slab of dark on your eyebrow yeah i didn't realize how long this video was gonna be mascaras my favorite in the entire world has to be the last sensation by maybelline this works miracles let me see you see how the thing is curved perfect perfect like the wand is amazing is this flexi bendy oh my god yeah i just love it the other one is the it cosmetics superhero i got this for a birthday gift from ulta last year and when i tell you y'all this stuff is perfect for your lower lash now we're moving on to actual falsies it's the demi whiskies by salon perfect this is what the packet looks like this is not the exact um aisle. these are demi wispies but these are in the um style 614s they're just a little longer this has some great eye eyelashes moving on to eyeliners london scandalized waterproof cold pencil ones i have an eyeliner pencil an eyeliner pen from essence it was three dollars um this one is a felt tip a lot of people love felt tips i can't do a wing line to save my life y'all but i do this to fill my moles back in eyeshadows my morphe i'm pretty sure everybody done heard of morphe and bh cosmetics those two have to be my top when it comes to eyeshadows because there are so many different shades in one palette and for such a cheap price my two favorite bh cosmetics palettes have to be the take me back to brazil palette and the royal affair palette which is the new palette that was just released i love these small morphe palettes this one is in the color 9c jewel crew and it's it's just beautiful for one the thing i love about morphe palettes is this huge mirror this mirror is amazing but these are the shades in it the 3502 palette doesn't have a mirror but it is huge original 35f palette which looks like this you know before morphe did redid their labels um, this is that shade some of the um makeup revolution palettes this is the mint chocolate the mint chocolate eyeshadow palette the mirror in this one is also a freaking amazing and then these are the fall time shade colors that i have in here maybelline of course i gotta have maybelline in there these city mini palettes these are amazing they have about three or four other shades other um boxes with shade ranges in them but these two have to be my favorite ones I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some setting um, sprays. I pretty much use one setting spray, but I use two facial sprays as um, setting sprays. So my favorite setting spray has to be the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. It smells good. Um, it lasts, your makeup will last all day. I'll have a matte one, but for me, I need Dewy because <laughs> Sahara. You know what I mean? Desert. So sprays that I use. I have a green one that ran out, but the Mario Badescu Skin Skin Care Facial Spray, Aloe Chamomile, and Lavender. So this one, a lot of people say when they use it, it makes their makeup a little matte. Versus the pink one, it's kind of a dewy. And then the green one, a refresher. Like once you you just old and caked up, you just spray it and it just feel like mint leaves. You know. So this might get a little confusing because there are so many different ways to categorize lip products you have pencils you have stains you have glosses you have matte glosses you have matte stains you have lipsticks you have liquid lipsticks there's so many different ones so 
what I'm going to tell you straight up is just three different ones. I'm going to tell you lipsticks, lip glosses, and lip pencils. Lippies. If a dark skin girl, you automatically need a brown pencil. I don't care if you buy chestnut from MAC. I don't care if you buy um, uh, the, the, the K pencil from Colourpop. Those are two of the best ones. I just don't own them. Um, I don't care. You need a dark lip pencil. You need a lip pencil. You have to carve your lips out when you put on nude lipsticks, you know, so you won't look like a clown. You have to, you can even wear them just to wear them. So the two lip liners that I use the most are from NYX and from NK. NK is a brand that comes from my local beauty supply store. They're only a dollar. So those are like my top pencils that I use all the time. I have colored ones as well. Like I have a dark purple. I have a red cranberry one. I have a black one. Lip glosses. My favorite, favorite, favorite lip gloss of them all is Carmex. NYX butter glosses have to be my favorite. Um, they're cheap. They run you about four to five dollars on sale at Ulta. You can catch them for about two or three dollars. I caught these for $2.49. They smell like food. Probably the best part. They come off as a gloss, like a little bit of color, but not too much that they're not glossy. See, watch. This is Ginger Snap. See? It's just a tint. Praline, I think, is the one that smells like cake batter. Yeah. Okay, so this is Praline. Start off, we have the original lipsticks. Every woman of every shade, of every color, of every race needs a red lipstick. Favorite red, dark red lippy has to be Wet n Wild in the color Cherry Frost. This was 97 cents, y'all, at Walmart. This is a true red. This is a red. If you ever see me with a plain nude lip on, it's probably going to be the shade um, Blushing Brown, which is in Elf. It's a very pretty mauve brown. And let me see. This is what the shade looks like. It's really pretty, y'all. It's really pretty and really subtle. Y'all see it look like butter? Cranberry. It's a dark cranberry color. It's called Bordeaux Beauty. Bordeaux. It's probably not Bordeaux. It's probably Bordeaux. Because the E-A-U-X is silent, makes the O sound, but I've been saying Bordeaux Beauty for years, so that's probably wrong. It's probably Bordeaux, and it's amazing, y'all. I'll put it right here. Look at that. Don't look at my little sore right there. Don't, don't pick on me. My hand got smushed in my suitcase. Dark Brown Matte. My favorite has to be from Milani. In the shade Covet. Once it dries. Oh, it's matte. Oh, she matte. I usually line my lips with her if I'm mixing her. And I put this vivid matte liquid uh, in the color Grey Envy from Maybelline. I have a few of them actually, but these are my two favorite ones. This is a cranberry one and this is like a grady mauve color. Then also the lip, the NYX slip tees in um Lip lingeries are also amazing. That's the end of this video. Like I said, you guys, I'm not a makeup guru. I'm not a specialist. I'm not an expert. I just learn the best way I can. And if you guys have any other questions regarding makeup or anything else in particular, leave them down below in the comment section. I will be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. If y'all have any other makeup video suggestions that y'all want to see me do, leave them down below. I'm sorry, y'all. I told y'all I ain't feeling too good. Leave them down below in the comment section and I will literally consider them because I be running out of ideas, y'all. I be running out of ideas. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell, that little bell button down there. Turn it on. So don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everything. Brene Smiles 31. So listen, just take what you can take. Use what you can use. Hey, and do what you can do. So that's it. I guess for real, I'm just shut up and stop talking and I'll see y'all in my next video. Deuces.